Hi, it's Manon again. Um, today I want to share with you something that I made, a DIY that I tried and it worked. So that's what you see at the screen. I transformed an IKEA uh, shell, a DVD shell, into a rack for my washi tape or my ribbon. Um, I'm gonna show you. That's. Oops. I'm gonna put it in English. Ah! Wow! Sorry for that. That is what I uh, had on. Uh, I didn't buy it just to do this DIY. I have so many you can see behind me. I have like 13 shell like that uh, at home so uh, I'm not using them anymore and uh, so okay I'm gonna explain why it's so me the mess behind me we are in the middle of renovation as you can see I'm in the in the corner in my um, downstairs and uh, basement in my basement and uh, where there's some just you see the blue and the, the the curtains there we're gonna put a wall there and behind that is gonna be a small room for storage so our storage now is the the basement room and uh, it's gonna be my room it's gonna be my craft room I can't wait so um, I don't have a lot of money to buy uh, IKEA stuff. It's so nice. I love seeing all the craft room on Pinterest, on Instagram, on Facebook. The rooms are so gorgeous, but I don't, I don't have that kind of money to do it. So I'm gonna use some mitts and match and uh, what I have under my hand. And I had those shelves, and I wanted. I was thinking, what can I do with them? And I, after seeing another tutorial on doing a paper rack, I thought, wow, maybe I can do the same thing, but for my washi tape and my ribbons from my DVD shell. So, that's the shell that I use. Uh, okay, I'm good. Just, if you can see, that's the size. There, the way you put them together, you have some screw on the top, in the middle, and on the bottom. So I just cut my shelf in half. It's 37.5 inch tall each panel that I cut. Um, so you can do two rack with one shelf. So ah, that's not what I'm doing. Okay, so I took my shelf like that. I transformed them for my washi tape. So at first I wanted to take the small shelves that that the insert and uh, cut them in strip and glue that. I try it. It's not good. It it can it can work if you have the time and you you can you want to pen them and everything. It can work. But I didn't like the result and the result is right here and it's going to be probably in the garbage. So <sighs> Like you see, you see all the wood and it's harder to, to be uh, straight, uh, to have the same size, uh, it, it's harder. So yesterday I went to the dollar store, which is called De La Rama here in Quebec, uh, and I found these. So it's screwers, it's just wood screwers, and it's the in the... Um, when you where you have the kitchen uh, stuff in the aisle when you have the kitchen and it's just so small small woods like that it's the right size for the 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 shelf that we have and you have the little hook here that can uh, prevent your washi to fall off so what i did i took them i i thought that just one was too small for the the rail so i put them with a glue glue, glue add glue I glue them together 
you need I'm just going to talk for one shelving, one 37.5 inch eye. So just for one, you need 44 pair like that because you need 22 on each side. And what I did, I just take a ruler like that with the, the square angle because if you see the way that the, the insert, the, the, the shelving insert, are done you have like a small pin in front and one in the back and on the, the the front the shelves go on top but on the back the shelf go on it it's you have a hole on it so if you see in my picture here <clears throat> when you you use the rule they're not straight no the line are straight but the the all are not straight so I have to put my my uh, ruler flat so that I can have a, a straight line so that my screw don't go on the back side because if you glue them they're gonna go like that and your washi tape is gonna go so I want them straight so I did that I made my 44 pair of screw that's what it dressed for me from the 48 pack I used two like that they were they were like one dollar 25 cents each so two dollar fifty for all those and <clears throat> then I glue all them all on each size side <clears throat> then I had under my hand I have some spray paint so I said oh I'm gonna try you can leave it like that it's not bad but I, I want it all black so I went outside and just spray them here on the picture, the, the, the paint are still wet. That's why you see all the reflect, but, uh, reflection, but they're dry now and it's perfect. It doesn't see. I paint also the top of the, the shelving because that was the bottom, uh, the bottom half of the, the shell. So that's what I, I use for my, to put my washi tape uh, inside. You just have to cut it the right side and how I put it back together, easy. The same way you you undone undone it the first time. I screw uh, on the bottom is the original shelf, so I screwed it back, and on the top it's just an insert shelf that I just glue with hot glue. That's all. I did this. Here you go. I I think it's the uh, easy way to just reuse the same shelving that I have for my DVD and my CD and everything that I don't use anymore. Now I can have them in my craft room. So I'm going to make, as you can see in the picture, I still have some that's on the side. So I have to make more. I'm going to make probably three more. Uh, I used to have, I wanted to just use two original shelving to have four small ones. But since I had a bad experience with the first one, I'm going to do with another one. So I just put them in my desk and there are like, 37 each inch tall. That's not too big. That's just perfect. You have 22 uh, rail that you can put. You can adjust the size that you want. Like you see, I have small washi tape. I have like big ribbons. Uh, I think it's a nice way. So there you go. That's what I did. That's my DIY. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Don't be shy. Ask come ask a question. Just comment. Just give me a thumbs up, maybe. Thank you. Have a nice day.